war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. My turn, big guy. Hey, hon. Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. One hundred... Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. What if you could get rid of them forever? You think to me, our government has only two. That's right. Which is why we developed the Wind Bank. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Plus. Looks like the milk got delivered. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. Hmm. 
You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Good old USA. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! vault calling! Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Oh, no worries, sir. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <clears throat> total atomic annihilation. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Hey, hun. Do I look nervous? I look nervous, don't I? Oh, sounds like someone made a stink. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> I know we were nervous at More first. More of the same. I'm glad we got Codsworth. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it It's a little early to be drinking. Hun? Wow, look at you. How'd a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? Good old U.S. of A. A lot of late nights, but it was worth it. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Good morning! vault calling! Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. 
It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Huh? I'll be there in a minute. Go ahead. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Can't wait to teach him to ride this. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> to think one day he's gonna learn how to drive. Hun. What's wrong with Codsworth? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We... we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um... Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Max, 
Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy, on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Maybe. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Let's get pumpkins instead. Carve jack-o'-lanterns. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? <laughs> followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh my god. We need to get to the vault. Now I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Excuse me. I'm reporting this! We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, God follow me. All. Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! situated in your new home. Vault Excuse 111. Me. Was new. A better future oh, God damn underground. New. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door Vault there. Tech is here for you. All this new way. residents, this please way. proceed in an orderly fashion. Mail. This way, please. This way, just good. this way. And step over to the table and take a seat. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Here you are. Head down the hall there. Hey. Where? We're safe. Uh, thanks. 
What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Hey there. Follow me. See? This is our new home. It's down the hallway oh, right love there. It here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Sir? Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The ball just checking everyone to be off fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Hey. Guess we're some of the lucky ones, right? Whew. You all right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be a Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Everything okay? Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! Malfunction in cryopod manual God. release override. Why would Voltaire do this? I'll find who did this. Then I'll get Sean back. I promise. Malfunction in.